So Leah and I always clean the house before we leave on any kind of big trip, and this is usually how it goes down. <laughs> so much to do still. Oh god, it's fucking awful. Hey team, welcome back to another episode. Today Leah and I are packing to get ready for a trip because there's nothing worse than coming back home after a long trip to a dirty house. And we're going to show you all of the things that we do in order to clean up our house in the most sustainable ways possible. And uh, we're gonna take you on a little day in the life along the way. Leah, how, how is this going for you? <laughs> but it's a cute top! <laughs> So this is all in an effort to promote Leah's podcast, which just came out. She talks about what real sex looks like for uh, all kinds of people. And um, that requires a little bit of creativity in front of the mirror. And it's just not natural for Leah. She's not, she's not a selfie person and that's okay. So we have a lot of stuff to do. The house is a bit of a mess, as you can tell. But first, let me show you what we are going to be doing in this video. So as you can see here, we have some general chaos in the kitchen. We need to get rid of some of this recycling. We need to clean up all those dishes. We need to pack those bags for the bike. There's some zero waste goodies that we're going to be giving to our friends. Here in the hallway, we have a bunch of stuff that has to go to thrift store. Here are some books, glass recycling, fresh prep box. Our whole recycling section actually entering into the office this is a blanket that needs to be folded up and put away a bunch of other stuff that we need to organize and put back onto the shelving unit we are also going to be bringing our computers with us on this trip so that we can do a bit of work while we're away to keep the ball kind of rolling in the background Leo we got to do laundry right oh shoot it's in the thing I, I meant to go hang it up <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Leah is gonna pull out the laundry while I pick the selfie that I think is the best <laughs> because she doesn't want to pick it. Because I hate taking selfies. With Levi helping me take the selfie versus me trying to take it on my own. I think this is the best one so far. That's well, what you get. Okay, well, it only took. <laughs> All right, so we just did the laundry and we, I think we used drops this time around, but we've also been trying True Earth, which is an option available here in Canada. This is not a sponsored video. These are just the things that we use sometimes. And they smell nice. Both of them work really well. We haven't really had any complaints from either of them. This is actually something that we haven't done before, but what we're going to do is we are going to put this whole rack outside in order to get it to dry faster because we need to get the sheets back on our beds so that we can leave. <laughs> All right, that actually worked pretty well. If you haven't seen our minimalist closet video, uh, we talk about our laundry routine a little bit more thoroughly and why we hang dry everything instead of using the dryer. Hint, it's kind of about the planet. It's also about your money. It's also about keeping your clothes as good as long as possible. It's about the planet? Oh, it's so unlike you. I know, Weird. I know. I like to switch it up though. Mm. <laughs> you might remember the last time we were here doing the dishes, I broke the glass bottom. And uh, this is the new one. It is the bottom branded replacement glass container. Hopefully we don't break it this time. So this is our first time having a dishwasher in our relationship and it's been really awesome, sadly. I love washing dishes, but having something that does it well and efficiently is really nice. Since we've moved in here, this has been the only form of dishwasher detergent that we have used and we haven't gone through a lot, as you can tell. This has been about three or four months of putting this on almost every single day. We got this at our local zero waste store along with our regular dish soap. We fill most of our cleaning ingredients from them and we'll get into that later in the video. So these are our cleaning materials. We have this old handmade rag from a friend of ours. This is a recycled plastic scrubby that works really, really well. And we bought this German-made scrub brush 
and uh, it seems to do the trick. My mom actually made this little dish out of pottery, which holds another bar of soap for cleaning our hands, and this is our dish soap. All right, the kitchen is looking very nice now. So is Leah. How's the post going? All good, you know. Now I'm on to stories. <laughs> <laughs> This is always so scary, every time. We're literally lighting us cleaning up a room. Quick, whoa! Oh God. So this office space does become kind of a mess all the time, and that's not any wrongdoing on our part. It's just the fact that we use this space a lot. Yep. Well, it's better than how Levi used to store all this film equipment, which was on the floor. So I'm really <laughs> happy that now it's a mess, but like vertical. <laughs> Now we even have an open floor space that we can... Do activities, yay! <laughs> I think I can balance myself Why against this wall. Why are you, what is happening you right now? No, I don't think you should. This is a bad idea. You're 30 years old. No, I'm not, I'm 29. Calm down. <laughs> Okay, so the kitchen is sort of a mess again. Leah and I did some yoga and now we are sitting down for some lunch before we get into the rest of the chores. We're having this tofu bowl with kimchi and cucumber and kale from our garden with some locally made uh, smoked tofu, which is friggin' amazing. So good. A couple of months ago, we discovered this kimchi, which is made by a local family and it is absolutely insane how good it is. So we don't actually talk about food too much on this channel, even though Leah and I love cooking and eating together, but this is something that I talk about a lot in my ebook, which went for sale last month, and a whole bunch of you already bought it, which is really, really amazing. But I wanted to put out a little reminder there because I think people don't know what's in the book completely. So uh, I'm gonna take videos like this as an opportunity to sort of elaborate that we talk about food in that book quite a bit, where we buy it, why we buy it, and how you can make better sustainable food choices in your own life. If you saw the latest what we spend in a month video, you will know that we spend a lot on food. Um, and that's because we find amazing local things like this kimchi and this tofu, and we're really happy to support those companies, so. Mm -hmm. So we're going to eat our food and watch another episode from Sabrina and Friends, otherwise known as Answer in Progress, one of our favorite YouTube channels, and then we will get back into Cleaning the house. Yay. Okay, so this is my grandmother's old Electrolux 89 vacuum cleaner, uh, which we inherited when she passed away this year. Before this, we had like a <laughs> tiny apartment size one and it was awful. It was useless. It was so I was like down on my hands and knees, like basically by hand. This thing works amazingly well. We decided to keep it because A, we needed one and B, it's always cool to keep these older pieces of technology in circulation because why throw it out if it works? It does use bags, which is arguably less sustainable, but the real environmental impact of most vacuum cleaners is the fact that they are poorly made and you have to throw them out over and over again. Whereas a bagged vacuum cleaner will last far longer than one without bags because it doesn't have to house all of the dirt and the grit, which often makes things wear out over time. That makes sense to me. And how old is this vacuum cleaner? It was, it's from 89. It's from 89. This is old, this vacuum cleaner is older than we are. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that tells you something. The amount of like plastic and metal that went into it is still being used over 30 years later. Oh, and another thing, listen to how quiet it is. Like, this is a, not an average volume for a vacuum cleaner. I feel like this is very reasonable. Hello and welcome to the bathroom. Probably my least favorite place to clean, not because it's gross, but just because uh, I just, it's so tedious. It's so much more effort than other places in the house. Um, this is what we used to clean. This is our squirt bottle that we bought quite a while ago from Greenworks, but we've just refilled it with a concentrated kind of cleaning detergent that we got from our zero waste store. Basically what you do is you use this to refill this basically a couple of tablespoons or more, and then you add the rest with water so that it fills it all the way up. 
Then for scrubbing material, we have this rag for kind of like general cleaning. And then we have this kind of recycled plastic scrubby that we used in our sink previously. And now we use for bathroom and around the house cleanups that are a little bit harder to get out. And if there's something really hard to get out, we have this old toothbrush that we use as well. But honestly, we don't use it that often. Let's, uh, let's start with the sink, because that seems like probably the easiest place to start. Are you really a homeowner if you haven't wiped out your shower <laughs> naked? I mean, I feel like this is just a rite of passage. It's this so is yours. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. That's a pricey pay for long hair. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. It's freaking awful. Okay. Good now? No. <laughs> no, we need to keep going. We have so much to do still. We can do it. Okay, so Leah and I have successfully left the house. Uh, we have a big bag of soft plastic here that we're gonna try and recycle over at London Drugs. And uh, we're gonna ship off those things. And then we will hopefully be done with the outside of the house stuff. Hopefully. Pro tip for any of my fellow Canadians watching this, London Drugs has a whole bunch of cool recycling options, including flexible plastics, which we do regularly. After this, we went and sent off the packages that we needed to get rid of. I then went and did the rest of the thrifting by myself while Leah did what she called a top secret mission, which I should have been suspicious of because I found her at the mall. Oh no. I think they're sick. So after taking out the recycling and some finishing touches, this is what the house looks like. And if you are wondering what happened with Leah's little adventure... Yes, Leah did buy the Tevas. I did. They're so cute and I need some waterproof shoes. And I'm having throwbacks to when I was eight years old because these were like all the rage. So this might be uh, controversial since I think this is a Birkenstocks channel. I know, um, but Birkenstocks are waterproof. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, and I'm, I'm curious to see how these fare because um, they are made with recycled plastic and they are a repairable shoe. Tiva does have a good repair policy and they will send you new straps and new footbeds if you want to replace them. So we are planning to post a video about our trip, our bike trip to Vancouver. So if you're interested to see about how we plan a low impact, low waste trip like that, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you uh, have rung that little bell and uh, maybe we'll see you next week for that video. It's also gonna be a low cost trip, so I'm excited to share our little, you know, hacks to make it more accessible so you have more money to do the things that you wanna do. All right, team, uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember that if you are subscribed, then we will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, let's put, put them on. I wanna see what they actually look like. Put them on, baby, baby. Here we go. The reveal, it's the Tevas. Oh, camp counselor to the next <laughs> level. I was just right? about to say. Bring your kids, have my first aid. We're gonna do fun activities. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Okay, everyone, make sure you have your sunscreen on. And let's go check out some birds. Are these the right way? <laughs> I don't. No, they were the wrong way. <laughs>